If you're looking for a powerful Grixis Commander or you're looking for powerful Grixis Commander cards, we're here to talk about the first five cards to consider when building your Grixis Commander deck. And the video starts right this instant. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters who power our channel. Check out our Patreon for monthly giveaways, exclusive content, and even a starring role in our fanfight series. Link in the description below. Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. I'm Jake. I'm Joel. Welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel or Magic. We're about to get into some Grixis Commander cards. But first, if you like the video by the end of it, consider subscribing. Yeah, it's the best way to support the channel as we continue to grow. There are 195 countries on Earth. There are 195 Magic the Gathering content creators that start an account every second. <laughs> so if you think that we're exceptional, please consider subscribing. It's the best way to support the channel as we continue to grow. Let's jump into these cards. Uh, like with all of these shard-based Commander First 5 videos, we chose cards that have all three color symbols represented in the mana cost of the card, and we think are good representations of the shard as a whole. We know there are cards that we missed. Let us know what they are. Drop them down in the comments below. Let's start with Croesus's Charm. How about this? I only include these charms, and I say this every video, I only like to include these charms if at least two modes are always relevant in a commander game, and I think that this one fits the bill. Return a permanent to its owner's hand, or destroy a target non-black, so a little Doom Blade action, or destroy an artifact. Relevancy. Yeah. Tempo. Doomblade and Artifact Destruction. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, Grixis is like this powerful, unruly kind of shard. It's like... It's the Dark about, like, Magics. Yeah, Zombies. it's like... Honestly, think like Emperor Palpatine. Right. You know? Like, I would say, like, that's probably a good idea of what Grixis is. You know, like Darth Vader, the Empire yeah. of the Star Wars universe. So, I really do think, like, we always talk about the, the powerful Vs on this channel... And that's versatility, value, velocity. This is all about versatility. That's what these charms are about. And I think that this is really good. Artifact destruction, you're never going to hate. And a really good, well-timed tempo play could mean the difference between a win and a loss. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You couldn't have hit the nail on the head any better. Next up is Cedrus the Trader King. Given all your creature cards in your graveyard on Earth, this card has huge combo potential. This card was the main general of one of our best buddies in our personal commander play group. We saw, what's that whale or whatever? He's going to yell at me for not knowing the names of the cards, but that whale that gets played from the graveyard and untaps everything and he's unearthing everything and he's Cedrus oh, yeah. the Trader King. This yes. is, this is, shout out to you, Biff. Cedrus the Trader King. This is Grixis, so Grixis. Yeah, it's a really great, it's a really great general. And I think, you know, having that unearth, unearth is cool, man. Unearth is something that I really love. You get insane, splashy ETBs. Obviously, the creatures go away at the end. But it really is like a, a really fun, good representation of what Grixis is. It's graveyard, it's haste, it's... Oh man, it's recursion. It's it's right. it's just goodness. This was one of the first cards, or this was one of the first decks where he played Training Grounds in the deck uh, to lower the cost of that ability to black one. That other. card has skyrocketed, by the way. That card is nutty. Right, exactly. And the first time we saw him play Training Grounds, we were like, whatever. But when he was, you know, black one, Unearthing black, for, one black one, yeah. black one, it was just crazy, man. It was going so. So nuts. So we would have been remiss to not include Cedrus for you, Biff. I'm directly talking to you, my friend. Let's move on to Nekuzar the Mind Razor. Nekuzar is this group hug to death that I've talked about in a couple of other command uh, commander decks. This this card, it, it can just get nutty. Everybody's drawing cards, so it seems like a card that you want to leave on the battlefield. But... Whenever an opponent's drawn a card, Nekuzar is shooting you. One of the meanest things I saw written about this card. Glistening online, oil, dude. Yeah. Oh, God. What if you give this what if you give Mr. Nekuzar infect? And I went, ugh. <laughs> yeah. Uh I think that this card is is really good. Again, another exquisite, amazing example of the power of Grixis. These are my tr this is as a magic player that's been playing since 2009, I can tell you 100%. <laughs> 
these are my colors. I, I know that these are my colors. A hundred percent. Black is my favorite color. Blue is my second favorite. And red, you know, I feel like red and blue are like right there together. Like I am an is it mage with with this dark unholy ambition. The dark energies. And, yeah, and, and so it's like if if that makes me evil or whatever, I don't I don't care. These are the most fun cards to play. I love this deck. I had Nekasar put together for a while. I didn't play it with Tainted Strike or Glistening Oil. Uh, so maybe that makes me a noob and in the future I will definitely put those cards in to give it Infect to make it even worse. But when you combine this with like, you know, all of the all of the different, you know, Wheel of Fortune and, and discard draw up cards, you know. Yeah, Magus it's, of the it's Wheel. It's really good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm a big fan. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Nekuzar is awesome. Here's another one that's awesome. Kest Dissident Mage. Each of your turns, uh, an instant or sorcery from your graveyard gets uh, gets flashback. Or no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flashback for its cost, uh, essentially. Yeah, dude. Uh, another general that I had put together at one point. But this is another really good card. Just that that recursion. Yeah. Being able to do something again is really important in EDH. You never want to be the the player that's just kind of stalled out not doing anything. Velocity, value, and versatility. I feel like this hits velocity and value. Yeah, I I don't really know if there's anything more important in Magic than those three things. I, I'm a big fan of Cast Dissonant know. Mage. Look at this old Elder Dragon legend hanging out in his lair. Mr. OG, dude. Mr. OG, OG Nicol Bolas. We were discussing when we were putting this video together which Nicol Bolas we were going to include. And Jake was adamantly, it's going to be the Summon this. Elder Dragon legend. This guy. <laughs> we're putting this one in. <laughs> This, this is one. the Bolas man himself. An opponent damaged by Bolas has to discard their entire hand. Very Grixis. And uh, he does have a... He's got an upkeep of the Grixis colors. He costs eight for a flying 7-7. Yeah. Seven, seven. He's pretty dope. And that... that so just so you know, more. like, we were just showing you Cedrus. And so this is the kind of card that you would want to throw into your graveyard to recur right. with Cedrus. As soon as it hits... They're discarding their entire hand. Yeah. So it's like, just know, uh, it's a very expensive card. If you pick up the Legends version, it's a very expensive card. So if you like this art, pick up Chronicles, because it's a fraction of the price. And then it was also reprinted in, um, I believe, Masters 25. So yeah. there are definitely versions that are easy to acquire that aren't this old Legends printing. But it's beautiful. Look at it. He's like sitting. He's this guy is reading. He's just got his books. He's in his lair with his books. He's in his lair with his books. It's just. I don't think they knew what Grixis was at the time. Well, except they did by the discard. Right. Yeah. I so, mean, I, I really like the application you're talking about of cheating him in with haste, swinging at an un, unknowing opponent, an unaware opponent, suddenly getting slapped up. By the, up the head by Elder Dragon Legend Nicol Bolas and having to discard their hand is pretty mean. He's, this guy is in a library. It's not like he's in a lair and stole a book from somebody. He is this. When he gets done reading, he picks up another book. Right. And Look he, at the books are all strewn about. Yep. He's making his plan for his his War of the Spark at that point. Uh, actually, I don't don't ask me about lore. Tetsuo Umizawa. We now know that was five. Is this card. is our uh, this is our honorable mention for the Grixis deck is Tetsuo Umizawa. So this is like a fifty to sixty dollar card, yep. but it's it's really old OG Grixis, just like Nicol Bolas is, and just it's got a humble ability. So if you have one of those play groups that's like humble commanders, I think that this commander is super fun for a casual setting. Yeah. It's definitely going to turn some heads. People are going to look at it and go, "Oh, Tetsuo Umazawa, that's just it's a royal assassin. Yeah. It's just a different royal assassin. It's a it's Is that a who legendary the, Is that who the Jite is based off of and you're like, "Yeah, I'm pretty sure." Yes, it absolutely is. And so it may not be the target of an enchant creature spell. So it's got this little kind of like pro enchantment thing going on where you're not going to put your own enchantments on it. No. But, you know, sure as shit, if you 
get a lightning greaves on this, you're just gonna be like, well, you know, don't swing at me. Right. Yeah. You know, I got I got Tetsuo, <laughs> and they, it's a very political, fun, humble card. Right. It's not gonna be the the commander that everybody's gonna be gunning for you. Everybody's gonna see it and go, oh, cool, you're running that old humble. There's general. there's That's Tetsuo neat. again. We appreciate everybody watching. That takes us to the end of our Grixis picks. Like I said at the beginning, let us know which ones we missed. Drop them down there in the comments. We'd love to talk to you about them. We appreciate you watching. If you wouldn't mind hitting subscribe, it really helps us out. If you want to hang out with us, we are streaming twice weekly, Tuesday and Thursday evenings over on Twitch. And if you want to support us further, we have got a Patreon for exclusive giveaways and maybe even starring role in one of our videos. Make sure to hit us up. The link is down in the description below. Jake, I'm tapped out. That's it. That's all of it. That's all. We'll see y'all on the flippity. See you later, warehouse. Goodbye. See you on the flippity.